So I've seen multiple reports that are pretty much saying that the Jacksonville Jaguars are absolutely expected to re-sign Nick, or not re-sign, but sign Nick Foles. And I was kind of pissed at first, but then I kind of read there's not going to be a huge market or bidding for him. So from what this sounds like, we'll be able to get him at a reasonable deal. Like, I mean, I said from the beginning, I'd be okay with signing Foles, but I don't want to fucking overpay for him. So, I mean, if we get, I mean, if we get Foles, you know, on a ten on like a ten to fourteen million dollar deal, uh, or four, ten to fourteen million a year deal, you know, and it's short term, and it's something we can get out of in two years, you know, cool. I'm alright with it. But I don't want to, like, give him, like, a fucking Kirk Cousins deal where it's not worth it. And like I said, I like Nick Foles. He's a good quarterback. Now, is he an elite quarterback? Would I put him in the same category with, you know, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, or Drew Brees? No. But is he a guy that's going to get the most out of our offense and somebody who could, and somebody, um, who I think can get us back to a good record and somebody who at the end of the game I would trust on a late drive to get a touchdown? Yes. So if he works out and he's a good fit for us, you know, I think we can get a good seven years out of Nick Foles. So um this can be so yeah, this can be a good thing. And I think the only reason this is happening is because it's funny that it came out right a, a day after Dwayne Haskins participated at the Combine and all this shit circulating about, you know, the Cardinals or possibly even the Raiders are going to take to Kyler Murray. So, with this happening, I think there's, um, there's just speculation that, uh, the Jaguars aren't going to be able to get a reasonable, get a reasonable, you know, trade deal to trade up or or even have a shot at Haskins. So I think this is the only reason this is happening. So don't get me wrong, I would love to have Haskins. Haskins uh, Haskins is the best quarterback in this draft and somebody who I want. Even Kyler Murray, I wouldn't mind having him. But I'm guess but I'm guessing by doing this, there's probably it's not looking good for us to get either one of those guys. So I think that's why this is happening. So, if not one of them two, then, you know, Foles is good. So, and also, this also works in a way, too, because the quarterbacks for next year's draft and the following year's draft, you know, headlined by Tua, Tum Tua Tunga Vailoa next year and uh, Trevor Lawrence the year after that, you know, that puts us in play to get one of those guys next year if Nick Foles fucks up. So, this isn't a bit, so, while I would love to have Haskins, this isn't a bad move on their part. Now, if this does officially have, which, it's not completely official, I mean, nothing's official till March 13th, and, you know, I've seen reports like this for other teams, and then it ends up getting fucked over, I've seen it happen, so, I'm not gonna say it's official until Nick Foles' name is on a Jacksonville Jaguars contract. But if this does happen and somehow Haskins falls to us, like, would we take him there? It all depends on who's available. Because I'll say this right now. If DK Metcalf is there at 7 overall and the Jaguars don't take him, we're fucking stupid. Like, that would be, to let that guy get away from us would be one of the dumbest things we could possibly do. I mean, the guy is a... And this isn't to say I don't think D.D. Westbrook's going to have another good year or, you know, Marky Slee will bounce back from his injury or D.J. Chark will pick it up from last year. And I and I am expecting a big jump from Chark. And I think Westbrook will still be good. Marky Slee, he'll be solid. But D.K. Metcalf, we need a big guy at receiver and the guy is an absolute genetic fucking freak. He was put, I mean, he was putting up reps on the weight bench more than most of the fucking edge rushers in this draft. His 40 time was, and his 40 time was really good, too. So, 
His vertical's also ridiculous. So, if we don't get this guy, we're kind of fucking stupid. And I just think this year, like, you know, free agency, after, if we do get Nick Foles, the, like, the primary focus in free agency should be, you know, get a right tackle, maybe get somebody to compete with a guard. And then, with this draft coming up, I'd get Metcalf if he's available. Because if not, trade the fuck down. And then secure... And then in the second round, secure um, TJ Hoskinson or Noah Fan if they're available. Just give Nick Foles every opportunity to succeed in our offense. And get us... And, you know, up the firepower in the passing game. So, if you get... And, you know, if we can land... DK Metcalf, then Noah Fant in one draft. That's that's a fucking win already, and we'd still have um, rounds three through seven to go. So that's what I'm lo- so that's what I'm looking at if this Foles deal is official. But anyway, that's all I got. You know, I'm about to head home from the uh, combine. Um, have to get on the road, go back to Maryland. But, uh, and shout out to the homie Nick Fargo, man. Like, had a good t- had a good time with him, you know. Definitely, definitely a cool ass person to meet, hang out with, drink with, you know, all the above. So, you know, it's definitely good to meet him. Another guy who I've met through, you know, TGC and this YouTube shit. So, um, Nick Fargo, when you do watch this, shout out to you, big homie. Thanks for everything. I appreciate it. Like, this was this was really a good experience. But anyway, um. I guess we're going to find out a lot March 13th, and um, we'll see what happens with this Foles thing, and then, you know, I guess we'll see what happens with the draft. I'm out. Go Jags. Do all on this hoe, and I'm out.